Okay, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we've got something pretty delicious for you we're going to check out. I made a coconut crusted chicken breast uh, with G. Hughes uh, sweet chili dipping sauce. And uh, in a future video, I'm going to just show you really easy how to make a roasted head of cauliflower. But for now, let's take a look at this um, chicken recipe. What you're going to need is some coconut flour. Um, no exact measurements, just kind of pour some into a, a container. Uh, some beaten eggs and some crushed up ground pork rinds. And what we're going to add into those pork rinds is some unsweetened coconut flakes, uh, which is what I have right here. And we're going to just dump these right in with our pork rinds. I just wanted to show you, show you them before we dump them in. And then we're going to just kind of mix it up so it kind of forms our coconut crust. So mix it up pretty well. If the flakes are kind of large, you can break them apart. Um, we're also going to add in a little bit of crushed red pepper just for a little bit of spice and a little bit of continuity, which is going to complement our dipping sauce. So let's just mix up the uh, crushed red pepper flakes into the, uh, into the crushed pork rind mixture. Here's our dipping sauce we're going to be using today. It's from G. Hughes. It's a sugar-free sweet chili dipping sauce. Um, it's pretty standard as far as the G. Hughes line goes. It's sugar-free, low-carb, um, tastes pretty good as well. So what I have is some skinless, boneless chicken breast that I already marinated in a um, in a like a chili and oil marinade. We're going to cut these into chunks. However you cut it doesn't really matter. You can cut it lengthwise, you can cut it crossways, as long as you keep your pieces fairly uniform. So we want these pieces to be cut about the same, and we're just going to dredge them in the uh, coconut flour mixture and then dip them into our egg, our beaten eggs, and just roll them in the pork rind and coconut coconut flakes and here you have it that's all there is to it we're going to put this into our air fryer you can deep fry these as well if you want to um, I'm using the air fryer today so we're just going to go through and just keep breading this breading and uh, crumbled pork rind and uh, coconut flake mixture I don't know what to call it really it's just kind of going through the cycle of flouring, egging, and um, the, the crust. And this takes, this takes, um, this is a good replacement for like the panko breadcrumbs. If you ever see any recipe either made on something like the Food Network, or maybe you have an old cookbook that uses panko breadcrumbs, it's, it's a good substitute to use the crushed pork rinds. It, it works out pretty well. Uh, one thing that's interesting is I saw um, somebody making these on the Food Network for um, just like a, a, a coconut chicken recipe. And they were actually using coconut flour and they used the panko breadcrumbs for for this this recipe. And I, and I was thinking, dang, you're like one ingredient swap away from this being low carb or keto right off the bat. So here's our one chicken breast all cut up ready to slap into the air fryer. So let's uh, let's get that set up really quick. I just have a basic air fryer and I'm going to put it on its chicken setting. Uh, reduce the time to 18 minutes which just through trial and error I've discovered is the right amount of time for uh, when I make chicken tenders or whatever you want to call these. So it's all done. Uh, not quite. Uh, we'll put them back in for maybe another minute or so, but I'll give you a good look at what these look like here. So they're, they're all crunchy and, and the coconut is toasted up nice, gives a little bit of sweetness and, uh, it's a very quick, easy family recipe. Your kids will like it. I like it. Um, here's the sweet chili sauce for dipping. Uh, you could use whatever you want, be it ranch, buffalo sauce, it does, really doesn't matter, whatever you like, but this is our coconut crusted chicken breast. Enjoy. Super easy, super quick. You can get it done in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> 